I guess was always there at the background because they knew we had to do something like that for two reasons. First of all, to try and persuade police who were wavering that they're better for them to come on our side. The King's Cross segment of the Wood Royal Commission commenced on the 26th of April, 1995. Drug dealers, club owners and standover men were interrogated about police corruption. Each of the King's Cross detectives were recalled and accusations of extreme corruption were put to them. Once again, the wall of silence prevailed, but the noose was beginning to tighten. To those police who are corrupt and know they are corrupt, if you are called as a witness and you lie or you try to cover up for others, and the consequences for you are likely to be particularly serious. Those who lie to commissions of inquiry such as this must expect significant periods in jail. June the 5th was a, an enormous day. It was a pivotal point for the, uh, for the commission. It was tense, as I remember it. Uh, Just so we can establish a benchmark, Mr Fowler, it has been your position, hasn't it, that you've never been in receipt of corrupt monies? That's correct. Corruption and you are strangers, in answer. That's correct. I'm now going to show you, Mr Fowler, a video which is an excerpt of some of the Commission's holdings. When you look at it, there's no doubt going to be a lot of things going through your mind. It was uh, a time that I will never forget, sitting at the bar table alongside Gary Crook as he called for that piece of film to be rolled, having given Fowler yet another opportunity to admit to any corrupt behaviour, having been confronted with denials yet again. The response from Fowler was truly remarkable, almost as remarkable as the film itself. Hang in there and shit yourself, you know? When asked, uh, well, how do you explain these videos, effectively he said, well, you must have got an actor to play my role. I don't think you'd see too many knees like that uh, around the acting profession. After the video was played to the court, Mr Fowler was asked again if he was not involved in corruption. He answered, that's right. Counsel assisting then asked, why can't you be man enough to admit your involvement? As far as I understand, anyway. Uh, you're happy with that? Yeah. Okay. It's a fucking missile, too. That, uh, that footage... Uh, didn't go just round Australia, it went round the world, and of course then followed by Trevor Haken. Mr Haken, very early in the life of this Royal Commission, were you approached by Commander Hatchkiss and myself? And he said, I was. And I asked him, and did you, from that point in time, agree to assist the Royal Commission in its investigations into corruption in the New South Wales Police Service? And he said, yes. As he gave evidence, his wife and family were in fact um, being flown out of Australia and uh, their house was being emptied. And there started a, um, a witness protection program both for, for him and his family. And I went on, you've assisted the Royal Commission in particular in its covert operations. That's correct, he said and then the detail. The room was silent, and then all at once there was noise. There was rustling, there were members of the press moving about, leaving. There were lawyers looking around in astonishment. A bombshell today from the Police Royal Commission. It revealed an undercover surveillance operation, secretly taping bribe payouts over the past nine months. 
The operation was carried out with the help of an officer turned informer. The Commission claims it now has an extensive database of crooked police and is calling on them to come forward or go to jail. I only wish to emphasise now that while today may mark a high water mark in terms of its impact, being a first public disclosure of our covert capacity, it will not be the last. The wall of silence has been publicly breached today and it remains to be seen what its long-term effects will be. Trevor Haken told the Royal Commission he'll give evidence of corrupt police practices dating from 1969 to the present day. If you happen to be corrupt, it is almost certain by now that you have been identified and that we are working on you. And the Commissioner made that very clear in several pronouncements from the bench, that, OK, this is where it's at. And if you think that you've uh, been able to escape through or you think you can wait and see, well, think again. There is a culture which is universally accepted within the department that you don't, in effect, tell on your mates. There was little else in the media for, um, for days. Um, uh, everyone was shocked. Confronted with their lies, many police have rolled over. Duncan de Mol, John Swan, Neville Scullion, Steve Pentland and Kim Thompson. And more are expected. There's been a huge build-up to this and the media were out in force as Haken started a marathon session in which he'll name 200 people, police and others, he says he's directly encountered in corrupt activities. Over about six months to June this year, Haken gathered audio and videotaped evidence at 80 meetings and distributed $30,000 in bribes to his police colleagues. Now the corrupt policeman turned informant will remain in hiding with his family. Remarked Royal Commissioner Wood, what happens after here will involve a total change in your life. That's a very difficult question as to whether or not he, quote, redeemed himself. The cynic would say he did it to save his skin, to save himself going to jail. Those more kindly might be prepared to countenance that uh, it was some um, sort of repentance uh, and, and some cleansing process that he was going through uh, to right the wrong that he was so deeply a part of. Well, thank, thank you for the turnout. For six weeks, the police commissioner said nothing. Then he called a press conference. Let us have no doubt that the corruption so far discovered is not systemic. I, give, I us, don't. give us your new definition. Systemic clearly means, if we take its uh, ordinary definition uh, in the dictionary, affecting the entire organism. This is not systemic corruption. Doesn't the attitudes of your officers and your manage management of the force uh, is at stake here, is it not, Commissioner? Do you acknowledge that evidence from officers Duncan de Mol, Kim Thompson, Neville Scullion, Steve Pentland, John Swan and others who've rolled over indicate that there's been no effective discipline or supervision of police who could get drunk on duty or absent themselves as they saw fit? Quentin, uh, I, I don't want to, contact, uh, to comment. Your primary objective is to restore public confidence in the police service of New South Wales. Shouldn't you at least offer your resignation to the state government? Uh, no, Quentin. Why not? Well, the answer is no. And because it's not appropriate that you I... A major deficiency in your management... It seemed as though a door had opened. Once it opened, there was a race to come through it. The more tapes, the more films, the more rollovers we had, the more people came forward. And to the point where on one night, I had so many telephone calls from police that uh, we just couldn't deal with all the calls. It's not too dramatic to describe it as a tsunami. Uh, we were inundated with people rolling over. In that sense, that paranoia worked 
to the Commission's advantage. And it got to the point where we really didn't know what kind of admissions would be the next admissions we would get. Evidence of corruption led out of the cross to police commands covering the state, then crossed the border and pointed straight at the Australian Federal Police. That was a, um, a deep shock for me, as it was a deep shock to uh, um, a number of people who'd known these officers. And uh, it was an extremely sad day, not just for the New South Wales Police, but obviously for the uh, Federal Police. I'm trying to be frightened, you think? The evidence broadcast to the world included detectives selling heroin out of the back of police stations, cops running prostitution rings, and senior detectives trading in child pornography. Further evidence of entrenched corruption led all the way to the top. Well, yesterday it was an assistant 